Hey guys, what's up? I'm Wisa of Content Critters, here to condense the latest RPG news so you don't have to. We're going to start with the latest rumors surrounding The Elder Scrolls 6, followed by Cyberpunk 2077's leaked rating from Brazil's classification board, and we'll end with Fallout 76's PTS as well as upcoming community events. So let's begin. Ever since Todd Howard spoke about The Elder Scrolls 6 last E3 of 2018, we haven't heard much news about it. No updates, nothing. All we know right now is it will be coming out after Starfield, an entirely new franchise from Bethesda in the past 25 years. There's this latest rumor from The Elder Scrolls Wiki about details including the setting, stories, release date, and vehicle mechanics. The Elder Scrolls VI Redfall is intended to be released in Q4 of 2024, and it takes place six years after the events in Skyrim, particularly in High Rock and Hammerfell, with Daggerfall as the largest city ever built by Bethesda. Similar to its predecessor, Redfall will also have clearly defined sub-regions with citizens fighting against each other. This is where Bethesda's new hardware will shine as huge and epic battle scenes with hundreds of characters are to be expected. One story mission involves orcs pillaging or burning the city of Jehana. Now I won't be including additional story specifics in case you want to read it for yourself, so instead, the link is posted in the description below. Additionally, in terms of gameplay, Bethesda will be using and building upon vehicle mechanics from Starfield to allow players to travel from one giant region to another. You can also customize these ships and assign NPCs to man them, similar to how NPCs maintain settlements in Fallout 4. One DLC will be in Stross and Kai to cater to these mechanics. The company is also extensively looking at CD Projekt Red's world building in terms of the environmental design and NPC interactions and daily activities in general. This rumor adds to another one when just a few months ago, Reddit user Bong Ripa the Skeptic pointed out that the company was hiring a game programmer to join their team in, quote, pushing the bleeding edge of RPG development for the PC and consoles, end quote. The role also entails the collaboration on the implementation of new gameplay features player and character's behaviors, combat and powers mechanics, user interface. This couldn't be for Starfield as by then, the RPG space epic could already be in the middle or later years of development. It's only speculation of course that this specific post is in any way related to Elder Scrolls 6. All of these rumors are a lot to take in especially since we're not 100% sure if they are true or not. It would be interesting to see how gameplay mechanics differ from Skyrim's and what unique features Bethesda will come up with in the next Elder Scrolls game. I do wish that we get updates from the Elder Scrolls 6 this year. A trailer together with story bits and gameplay would be great considering we've waited long enough since Skyrim came out. Yeah, I think it's been out for nearly a decade. What features from Skyrim would you like to be retained in The Elder Scrolls 6? Is it the skill tree, the dialogue, or something else? Let me know down below. Now moving on to another leak, we have Cyberpunk 2077's rating from Brazil's classification board. This was mistakenly published on their website last week, and was immediately removed but not before people were able to get screenshots. It's not surprising that the game comes with an 18 plus rating given the amount of adult content we've been seeing in the trailers and gameplay. As a whole, regardless of whatever rating Cyberpunk 2077 will have, although we're sure it will be adults only, oh, won't somebody please think of the children? 
it doesn't affect how excited most people are, including myself, to play this game, especially with occasional bite-sized updates. Last April 28th, they introduced yet another group by the name of Valentinos, bound by a strong moral code and century-old traditions. Controlling swaths of predominantly Latino areas of Haywood, they treat values such as honor, justice, and brotherhood with deadly seriousness. Okay, 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 I strayed a little bit there with the news, but anyway, what feature are you most excited for in Cyberpunk 2077? Does this rating affect you in any way, and why not? Moving on to the last bit of news, we have Fallout 76, and it kind of involves bugs. Fallout 76 Private Test Server, or PTS, will start this Thursday, April 30, to get a lot of community feedback prior to the next update this coming May. It provides an avenue for playtesting to share players' thoughts, as well as to report bugs early on. Similar to previous PTS, this is through invitation only, so it's important to sign up if you haven't done so before. For those who participated in the PTS for the Wastelanders expansion, there is no need to sign up again. Chosen players also have to sign an NDA prior to logging in. Now, a community calendar has been released for the remaining weeks of April and May. May includes events such as the Double XP Weekend, Treasure Hunter, and more. Do you have plans of participating in the next PTS? If you've participated before, what was the experience like? So that's it for today, guys. Let me know your answers to my questions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to share, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications when new videos come out. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Cool, I'm done. Oh, crap.